You're too faithful to feel as loved. You're too faithful to disappoint us. Welcome back. Yes, God is too faithful to fail us. He's too faithful to disappoint us. It's um so many past so many past three AM. So many past three AM. So I woke up. Just want to do small prayer. And I've been pondering on something that's recently is getting too much. And I ask myself, is there in any way I am portraying that? Is there in any way I am misinterpreting that? Maybe because of um the natural things I use, created by God for us to use. It's becoming a bother to me when some people come to you, chatting you, relating to you what they are passing through. And some of them somehow will tell you they no longer, um, maybe they no longer have their trust and hope in God anymore. Hmm. You see this life, trials are abundant, temptations are abundant. I don't care about, um, your religion i don't care about what you believe in personally but i care so much about you say you no longer believe or trust in god i don't care about if you have stopped going to um maybe church yes is a personal decision especially with what is happening now in most you don't even know where to step your leg you don't even know who to allow to lay their hands on you if you don't have um, a deciding spirit but regardless of whether you stop going to church or not i care so much about when you tell me you no longer believe in god now some of these persons are coming maybe to ask you oh what do i do in this situation what do i not do in this situation i understand how it feels sometimes what life throws at us it's not easy let's be sincere <laughs> but if you're coming to me maybe oh cheesy what do i do in this i i keep saying it i am not god no one is god never make any man your god never ever ever make any man your god but if you're coming to me at the end of the day what do i ask you to do still these natural things created by who created by god right so you see at the end of the day we're still going back to that god you feel oh because of the circumstance of things around you. I am getting a few of, not few, but it's becoming worrisome. I know how you feel. You need someone to talk to. You need a shoulder to cry on. But the greatest um, shoulder you can ever cry on is that of God. I believe in God Almighty. Without Him, I won't be existing today. It's, it's His mercy. And through that same mercy of God, He has done a lot of things in the life. It's, it's okay to believe in, like I said earlier, it's okay to choose what you want to do. It's very, very okay. I, for once, I'll keep saying it. I also pray the traditional way. Yes, I pray the traditional way. Yes, I do. It's what I also believe in. But no matter how I pray the traditional way, I pray it to God first. Acknowledging God first. Yes. 
I pray my, uh, I'm a Christian, yes. I pray my Bible, read my Bible, pray as a Christian. I pray the traditional way. Whatever works for you, let it be, please. But saying you don't believe in God, whether you are a traditionalist, you are a Christian, whatever religion you are, at the end of the day, the basis still go back to God. Are you not seeing it that way? So even if you wake up today and say, oh, you no longer believe in Jesus Christ, personal decision. Oh, you no longer believe in um, saints, perfect decision. Oh, you no longer believe in tradition, excellent decision. But saying you no longer believe in God because of trial, circumstance, Dear sister, dear brother, please, I beg of you, never, ever, ever, no matter what comes your way, believe that God has abandoned you. No. I have been there. I have been there. Believe me. <laughs> I have been there. I have been there. And... Let me tell you one thing. The fact that you feel um, some people are, how do I put it? They are happy. You think life is, no. Everyone still have one thing or the other they are holding on to God for. No one has it all. If you feel you are using these natural things or whatever you are doing and it's working for you and you feel it's right for you not to believe in God, then I tell you today you are wrong. You are making a big mistake. You are making a very big mistake. You are wrong. Because at the end of the day, it is still God that will make it work or not. Yes, except you want to put soil your hands in something deeper than. Don't look at the happiness around you and get carried away. Don't look at maybe some people are making it and you feel you are not making headway. There is time and season for everyone. When that, when your time comes, eh? When your time comes, you will look back and say, God, I thank you. This trial and temptation didn't take my life. <laughs> and the number thing is, some persons have calling. When we say calling, it's not for you to go maybe open a church or start a um, um, traditional practice or start healing. I don't know how to put it. Your call, your calling or call may be in diverse ways. Then again, I used to tell some person something, some take it and adjust. They will keep communicating and they keep telling me how by the grace of God, life is picking up for them. When they adjusted to that, some take it like offense. Someone even asked me, oh, I can't do without meeting with a man for three months. How do you want me to survive? I can't do without it. Now, sometimes some people speak to us or tell us some things, but we may not understand that this is divine message. 
Sometimes when some people send me some things, especially ladies, and I ask, do you have a boyfriend? Yes. Do you met with your, you know, premarital? They say yes. See, I am not trying to judge anyone. The fact that we sin differently doesn't make um another better than the other. I am not perfect. I am not a saint. But many years ago, when I realized that this is a killer. <laughs> Oh, some of you, some of us, the head we carry, the spirit that works with us, do not acknowledge premarital sex. I tell some people, I say, see, the man that will marry you, eh, whether you give him or you don't give him, if he's the one destined for you, he will stay. But the one that will not, if you like, give him, he will go. This is one problem a lot of people are encountering. Nothing is moving. Oh, I want to get married. Uh, I still give them. Uh, at the end of the day, they still go. This, this. They will go. Your head... By the time you kill that, it's not easy. It's not going to be easy. <laughs> that is when you will see the highest of the highest of temptation. That is when you will see hunger. Because maybe that is the source where you used to get your... Um, to survive maybe as a student and all that. <laughs> It's going to be a test though. But if that is what your chi doesn't like, the good angels that guide you, if you can endure, cleanse yourself, ask God for mercy, eh? By the grace of God, you realize that things will begin to pick for you. Things will begin to pick for you. And when things begin to pick for you by the grace of God, eh? You now realize that the kind of men you want will be the one running after you and begging you. Now, I'm not talking about, the, when I say the kind of men, please, I'm not talking about material things. Before some people would say, oh, she said, uh, oh, I'll wait for someone that has, no, 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 no. Sister, pray to be a blessing. Pray to be a blessing to yourself, your um, family, or extended family and people around you, humanity. Not just praying to, I want to marry a rich man, I want to marry a wealthy man. Premarital mating destroys a lot. Search yourself. The answer may lie with you. God never promised us that there will be no trial and temptation. But he will stand by us to overcome those trials and temptations. Only the fool says there is no God. I know it's not easy. I can feel your pains. You wonder how... Why would she say she can feel our pains? I have been there. I am not telling you I have it all. What do I have? But I have God that makes it. I have it all. If the only thing you have that makes you rich is money, then you are the poorest person on earth. In the time of your waiting, also learn to give to the needy. I am not saying you should become a foolish giver. No. You can't receive what you don't give. Yes. Next time, 
that thought comes to your head. Oh, does God exist? Is God still watching? He does exist. He sees it all. And His mercy will speak for us all. Hold on to God. Hold on to God. Hold on to God. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate you. Good morning.